Hello, it's February 24th, and I'm going to tell you about the main military news in Ukraine. Today is the second anniversary of the full-scale invasion. Exactly two years ago, at 5 a.m., Ukrainians heard the first air raid warnings, explosions and forgot about their peaceful, quiet lives. During this time, 528 children have died, another 2 million children have left the country, more than 19,000 children have been abducted by Russia, and at least 1230 children have been wounded. The number of deaths during this time from Russian aggression is such that it is impossible to count, but it is known that there are many tens of thousands of them, both military and civilian. In two years, Russia has lost over 2,700 tanks and 5,000 BMPs and APCs British intelligence report. It is also likely that about 350,000 Russian military servicemen were killed and wounded at the same time. There is a risk of losing Kharkiv MP Ustinova in a commentary for Deutsche Welle. After Avdiivka, there will be Kupiansk, and if Kupiansk does not survive, we have a very high chance of losing Kharkiv, the second largest city in Ukraine with a million people. If there is no additional military assistance this summer, we will have big problems, she added. Let me remind you that Kharkiv is only 12 miles from the border with Russia. Lipetsk. UVs attacked a local metallurgical plant. Novolipetsk Iron and Steel Works is the largest enterprise in Russia and 17th in the world. The plant's products are used in strategically important industries. Steel and alloys from there, among other things, are used for the production of missiles. The SBU and the GU are organized an attack on the Novolipetsk Iron and Steel Works. According to our sources, the SBU and GU are drones hit facilities designed for primary cooling of raw coke oven gas. Hitting these facilities, according to the sources, will lead to the shutdown of the entire production process of the metallurgical plant for a long time. Incidentally, the owner of the affected combine is Russian oligarch Vladimir Lysin, who is close to the path. According to Forbes estimates, he is among the three richest people in Russia. The Russians have seized new territory. The defense forces withdrew from the village of Lastikino in order not to block logistical routes and to preserve personnel. In two years of war, the Russian Federation has lost as many personnel and equipment as it had in its strike group at the beginning of the invasion British intelligence. In February 2022, Russia deployed about 130 battalion-sized tactical groups to attack Ukraine, that's about 1,300 tanks, more than 5,000 BMPs and APCs, and at least 100,000 troops. That was all the main military news from Ukraine. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest military news from Ukraine. Goodbye.